Everybody, this is not a mic check. This is actually real this time. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that delay. I know it took I know it took a little bit longer than it normally does. But um, for those who haven't been here, this is episode 31 of Sorry for What podcast. Um, if you're wondering what that is and you're interested in it, you guys come to the front. Don't be scared. I won't bite you. And you can scan this thing right here. You know what I'm saying? And pull up uh, pull up a couple episodes. Uh, introduce yourself too. Got my boys back. Yo, yo, what's up? I'm the co-host of Sorry For What, Dre Lee 863. I'm okay. also an artist. You know Make sure I mean? y'all get so, my boy. He's dropping real soon. Building, and promote man. that. Promote it. Building. Oh, yeah. Stop Me When I Lie drops September 9th. That's my album. Drop next Saturday. So, you feel me? Make sure y'all get that. Yeah, let's get it. And then, of course, special guest, never in the front of the camera, but she decided to pop to the front today. Uh, Miss, yes, I did. Yes, Miss I did. PR, flip your mic on. Flip your mic it on. It is on. It's on? It's on. I'm just low. Oh, you're just talking real low? Just low. Okay. This I'm is the PR. Down. She's always <laughs> behind the camera. She's the one who makes it happen. 31 episodes deep. <laughs> and she makes it happen. She makes sure the camera's running. She gets it going. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Miss Kara J. Yes, the Kara <laughs> J, the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk your shit. Talk your shit. How what you doing? Man. How everybody's feeling this week? I'm honestly feeling great this week. It's the first of the month. And it's going to be a great month. It's the first of the month. You know that song? No, I actually don't. I know you don't. That's like, <laughs> I, I actually I, don't. I thought I had something going. What's up, bro? I'm feeling good, bro. I've just been cooling and been running around a lot with this album and shit. So. Facts, facts. Oh, yo, yo. Is everybody safe after the hurricane? I forgot about that. Hurricane, what was it? Adalia, right? Is that what it was? Adalia. Everybody safe? Everybody safe? Make sure. Everybody is obviously safe. Bro. I'm just making sure, bro. I'm just making sure that you... you <laughs> uh, my boy Junior in the front row. Shout out, my boy. You came all the way from... Where'd you come from to make sure you came today? Tampa? Bro, yes, that's, a, that's a stretch, bro. That's a stretch. Yes, so thank you. I do appreciate that. I really, really, really do. Mondo is... <laughs> Mondo is in here somewhere too. I don't know where he's at, but my boy in the back. Thank you too. Also came away. Also came away. Shut um, up. Yeah, no, but it's been <laughs> it's been a great week. It's been a very very great week. What'd you say? Who's Alex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna make sure I shout out everybody okay, okay. that's in here. We're gonna get okay, okay. we're gonna slowly but surely get to sure. it. So. Um, this week, it ain't really been much trending. Typically, I go through hot topics that are going on um, in the world, but. It ain't been too much popping this week outside of the hurricane, I don't really think. So we're going to just get straight into the hot topic. Are y'all ready? Yeah, I'm ready for the hot topic. I'm Let's always ready. I'm All ready. right, real quick, real quick. How many people in the crowd are here with their significant other? Just raise your hand. If you're here with your significant other, raise your I hand. I got to take my seat. So. Couple couples, oh, okay. Shit. How many of you guys live with your significant other? Everybody? That shit crazy. Everybody, right, right, right. Shit. They, they crazy. Did, did they ask you to move in, or did you guys just gradually never go home? I'm interested. Baltimore. <laughs> it's like, it's like since, since you're since you're not leaving, you should move in, right? It's, at it's this that kind point, of thing that's we going on. At, at, at this point. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> the reason I asked that is because the hot topic this week is gonna be. The 50-50 rule. How many people? Um, how many people feel like when you're in a relationship, you should go 50-50, or um, the man should pay everything, or the, your woman should pay everything? If my men feel like that, you know what I'm saying? Stand on what you believe That's in, sassy. my king. That's sassy. Stand on what you believe in, my Don't king. Do you feel me? I, I, I'm just wondering. Um, but it's a very, very, very trending topic <laughs> that people seem to be arguing a lot about. Um, if you should go 50-50 or if the man should pay for everything and, you know, things like that. So I'm interested in what, what everybody thinks. I'll start with you. I'll start with you, co-host. You tell me what you think about that. Uh, I think uh, a man paying 100% of everything, like, you think that's what it... You asking how I feel about it? Yeah, like, do you feel like, you, you feel like your girl should put in half? Or do you feel like, as a man, you should go... I think whoever got it should, like, however it works, whoever got it, if she got more than it, it would make sense for her to put in more, like... But I don't think just because you're a nigga, you got to put in less bullshit. You don't I'm, believe that? Fuck no. You think that? You think but when that? You got, but when you have more, you have more to say. You got more rules. So you have to be okay with sitting in the back and, and letting me take over. Nah, that ain't true either. That is because whoever really truthfully is bringing home the bacon, that's the quote. That's who runs the house. That's who wearing the pants. Whoever bringing home that money, that's... That's how we gonna survive. See, yeah, you I, might be right. We, like, you that's crazy. Right. So what that's are why, the group? That's why you don't need to move in, motherfuckers. <laughs> right there, have your that's own why, shit. So you have. I'm just saying, right if, if she's bringing home most of the money, so she, then gotta, just be just be, be okay own. with her making the rules too, because that's the one who bringing home the money. I don't know about that shit, but I know. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> I know, uh, no, nah, 50, 50, 50, 50 just makes sense to me, bro. Like, it ain't, what the fuck? All right. Like, it ain't. When you say 50, 50, I guess too, 50, 50, does that mean everything? Like, literally, we're splitting this down the middle, we're splitting that down the middle, or are nah, we talking it ain't like. Be everything, nah, but it ain't gotta be everything, but like, it should, it should just make sense, bro. Like, it's supposed to benefit both of us. You know what I mean? It's a fucking relationship. It ain't. The nigga don't supposed to just be motherfucking drowning I in the bitches. Like that's, like. I feel like that's new, like, that's <laughs> like a new way that's, of thinking. That's what America was built that's on, what is what you're saying? I feel like that's a new way. Because just the, the yeah. real way, truthfully, whoever bring home that money, like I say, you just got to be okay with. Listen, bro, that shit's so 1972-ish, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Listen, but okay, this shit too high. in 1972, rent was five hundred dollars, gang. Yeah, That's man. a lot easier to bring home shit, to, to wait, shit, if she's like doing. Yo. But if she's bringing home whatever, if y'all bringing home the same, then you need to be cleaning up too. You need to be making sure stuff around the house is okay too. That's she should 50, be doing 50. everything. Okay, That's and you gotta be cooking. Like when she say cook, she go cook, nigga, go cook. Nigga Dre All is only should be 50 50. When nigga. I'm hungry, let's go, let's go out to eat. If you can't cook. This nigga's Shit. only making Tostinos. That's a Fendi. That's a Fendi <laughs> fucking nah. fag, bro. He only eat Tostinos. Don't eat a taco. You're not cooking You're shit, not gang. I'm not going to hold you. Yo, girl, hungry. She's hungry. <laughs> like, Listen. this nigga's not cooking nothing. I think... No, nah, I'm think, not cooking nothing. I'm not cooking shit. I think 50-50 is a stretch. I think that, like... I don't know. I grew up in a house where my dad handle that you feel me but my mom did my mom did her part too though she cooked she cleaned she did shit that my dad could never do it's a different time bro it's a different time bro so tell me how you lay that on a joint you on a date with a joint you nothing. feeling her she feeling you the check comes you splitting it 50 50 off i the wouldn't rent. split a check bro i'm talking about fucking rent and all this high ass shit i wouldn't split a fucking dinner with the bit bro but like on some survival shit bro like what the fuck like, that don't, nah, bro. I'm not finna sit here and do that shit. Like, if I'm paying 100%, I'm paying for it 100% for me, bro. Like, all right, there well, ain't no point in being in a relationship, bro. Let me ask. We're gonna ask a few people in the crowd. Bring the mic. You bring the mic home to whomever you feel see fit. And, and we're gonna see what the people think. Because I'm interested. Let me see. Let me see. Let me check. These niggas finna get out here and cat like me. Mic check. Oh, nah, it's no. Let's stop. Nope. So you're gonna have to. Bring them up here. I think the battery is probably dead on it. Oh yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah, Bluetooth yeah. mic. So just go out and see. Matter of fact, I'm gonna point somebody out. My boy right here. Come on up here. Come on up here, my boy. Come on up here. You in the front, so you get calls first. Oh man, this shit gonna be funny as fuck. And introduce. Take a seat. I love. I love the hat. I Thank love you. the hat, you feel me? Good hat. The one on your head and also the one on your waist. I spent 300 for this, you know? You know what I'm saying? Something light, a little light 300. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome on the show. Welcome yeah. on the show. Thank you for having me, you know? Of I course. Great, you know? Of a course. Tipsy is all, it's all a little tipsy, what you was drinking? What you was drinking out there? Yo, Mondo, what was I drinking, bro? A martini. Little martini, ote, ote, yeah. ote. Light skin shit. That's light skin shit. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the bar ordering martini is definitely light skin activity. Ote, ote. Yeah. Would, would you, uh, so, with the question, the question is, are, are you dating? Are you in a relationship right now? Nah, nah, nah. You're not in a relationship? Okay, better. Even better. So you don't even got to worry about nobody right, being mad at your answer when you get home. Right. You can really say how you feel. Um, do you feel like in a relationship, it should be 50-50 with the bills? Or as a man, should you just take all like, that? I feel like it should be more on like, I got you, you got me. If I have to pay most of it, then I'll pay most of it. If she got to pay most of it, she got to pay most That's of exactly it. That's exactly what I said, bro. That's it really is, shit. It is what it is. I, we, we just going to build off of that. So but like, how do you determine she has to? You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm wondering how y'all spring these conversations. It's whoever got it. it. It's whoever got it at the yeah, time. Like, whoever. some days it might be 80-20 yeah. one way, 80-20 the other way, but that's still 50-50 because y'all yeah, both did 80% one time and he both. Like, if you got me, I got you, and vice versa, bro. It shouldn't just be like... That is invalid. Ooh. Invalid answer. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, here you go. Yo, Miss PR is not having it. I'm not having it. Having it. Not having it. Listen. 50, not having if we're going to do 50-50, then you at least need to be paying a light bill, too, or something. Like, you need to at least... When, if go. I say I'm at the grocery store, throw me the money. Like, that's that's honestly like some man shit. At least you're not... At least you're trying. Yo. You, you at least giving it at least a little bit all you got here and there. 
I know we 50-50 with feelings, we 50-50 with all that, but on some, like... <laughs> but not with the money, not with the one done. the money. <laughs> Listen, y'all better not let these females get y'all fucked up out here, bro. Listen. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm I'm really dying because she's dead fucking sick. Yo, she's that's crazy. <laughs> but stuff. also, you also if you're like you also have to know what type of girl you're going after. If you're going after a girl who want this and that, or she requires that, then do that. If you're going after Sally or I don't know Kim, who might want something a little bit more simple, then go with that. Sally's crazy. Sally or Kim. What if somebody in the crowd's name is Sally? That's beast. The world is big. <laughs> you can find whatever. I'm listening. Right. I'm listening. That Finish shit. talking. That's, all I have. That's it. You feel like that shit's right, so right. 1960, bro. Like times different, bro. Yeah. Exactly. So let me ask this. Also, good feats. You got on real good feats too. The comedy. Yeah, that's yeah. real good feats, bro. Some okay. CDGs. So let me ask this. If if a man sh shouldn't go 50 50, right? Because that's so 1972. And ask me something stupid. Go ahead, <laughs> I'm asking. I'm yeah, asking. So then, what about the shit that women had to abide by back then too? That's an old rule. Like, why doesn't that translate have, to old times? They shouldn't I mean, have, they shouldn't abide it by, it, bro. They bad, I guess, bro. Like, so, cause fifty fifty, like back in it, basically, if you go fifty fifty, the argument is then you her bitch, basically. Kind that's, that's what she's saying. Now she Kiki Palmer. Yeah, like you and she's basically <laughs> Kiki Palmer. And yeah. she's at the Usher show with her ass on the rich nigga's cheeks. That's what's going to happen if you go on 50-50, gang. I'm not going to hold you in this nah, day and age. That ain't what's going to happen to me, but I see why that'll happen to a lot of niggas. Though. You see why that's going to happen to some niggas? You saying yeah. you're not going out like that? Nah, hell nah. Hell nah. Damn, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's a good... Who said that? Scare me, scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I felt you. That shit was scary as hell. It scared the shit out of me. That's bullshit. <laughs> I thought it was getting kicked yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, that probably means that's probably means it's time to wrap it up. I'm not gonna hold you, but I'm gonna ask one more person from the crowd. Um, Listen, hmm, we need someone a, from the back. We need someone from the back. Someone from the back. I get try to get a, a girl to come up here, man. Try to. Oh, thank you, my boy, for coming up here. Though, thank you for your answer. I really do appreciate it, and it was a valid answer. I feel you. I definitely feel that. A real answer, you feel me? Most definitely. All right, let right, right, hey, 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 bro, right, don't let him. Don't let him. Don't let him do you like that, bro. Let nah, your pockets see. fucked up trying to be a nigga from 1940, bro. Don't do that. I'm trying to see. It's, it's a lot of... Put your glasses on. I'm going to ask her right there. <laughs> oh. I'm going to ask she... her. Ooh, who you pointing at? I'm pointing at her sitting next to the boy with the white hat. But she, now she's not looking, but she was looking before her right here. Ooh, I can't She's see. looking now. I don't There's know. There's a million people out there, bro. No, it's her sitting next to the boy with the rack. And then it's, she's leaning back, like, no, oh, she's not talking to me. She's running hey. from it, too. Yeah, she's not talking to me. I'm asking her. She was All right. So you don't have to come up here. You don't have to come if you don't want to come. You can but, step right there. Yeah, you, you can. Come up here? Okay. <laughs> I didn't think you wanted to come. All right. So the question was, did you hear the question? The question was, do you think relate that a man should go and a woman should go 50-50 on bills? No. Do you think? answer. Okay, solid answer. answer. Why is your answer no? What do, what do you, like, know why? You cook, you clean, and you don't say no? Okay, that's, that's a good the, answer. That's, I, I that's believe a great it. answer. I believe it. So, do you feel like, what if there's a time that he falls short? Would you come through? Yeah. Okay, how many times is he allowed to fall short? Oh, look, look, look at the head. Look at the head. I like you. I like you. What's your name? What's your name? Sheena, yeah. okay. Okay. I like it. I like your energy. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like, a few times. Like, it can't uh, become a regular thing. Like, at this point, at this... Okay. At this point, it's not... It's... At it's, this point, you it's broke. It's regular. At this at point, this you point, broke. At this point, you broke. At this point, you broke. At what is it? At I think this we're going to 50 again. Like, okay. Understandable. Do you think that that... I don't, I'm not sure how old you are, but do you think that's an age thing? Do you think that that's something that comes with, like, past tense? Because he's saying that that's something that's old. Do you think that that's the case, or... Okay, so it worked in reverse for you. You're actually done paying for that shit. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. Are you kidding me? Hello. Thank you, Sheena. I appreciate your participation. I really, really do. No dead ass. Go home. I think I think that that's Roger. I think that that's a valid um. I pay. I pay 100 percent at my home. You feel me? I pay that. He just said I'm not doing it. No, I'm not going out like that. That's funny as hell. That's funny as hell. So I gotta I gotta pay everything and in return. Cook, clean, and don't say no. That's the... 
They sound like niggas getting the short end of the stick. I'm not going to lie to you. No, they're really getting the... Because I don't... I think you just... I don't want to say that, but maybe you just haven't had someone to appreciate it with, like, th that give it to you yet. So maybe, maybe when the day not. comes, when you find that girl, maybe if she... But she might not require yeah. that because yeah, you might I'm, not want that girl. I'm still not paying 100% of shit. So where, where her money go? Like, what is she doing exactly? She's doing what she wants. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm she's like, 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 trying to you not turn up in this nigga. This nigga like, like, her best funny. life. No, I'm just kidding. This nigga drives funny. Where is she? Where? Okay, that's a valid like, question. What is she that's doing? That's a very valid question. What is she contributing? I'm interested. Okay. For me personally, I have my own business. Okay. So whatever extra money, honestly, you're giving me, I'm putting it towards my business. Like, and in return, my business is honestly doing for us. Because when you what fall, if he got a business? Because when you money. fall short, what Mar Mariah do I do to what, what if, about your business? What if this is I, this is between you? Yeah, and Yeah, okay. This what is if, between no, you and Dre. Right, Don't put me no, in this shit. <laughs> no, on but for his, you know. I dig that, but what I'm saying is, what if he got a business too? But if but if that's your Would girl, if that's really your girl, girl, your girl's gonna come through for you for your business, especially if you're doing everything like. That's when Why you does he got to do everything for the girl to come through for him? That's why I'm... Because you just I'm got saying. to. That's oh, that ain't a good enough answer like, for I'm you. Just, I'm not explaining <laughs> that. That's just what. Just because. You, you just have to. That's the point. Just because. She said that's the rule. No, but like you said, where's the money going to? Like, when you fall short, there I am. You know what I'm saying? He won't fall short if he ain't trying to pay 100% of shit like a duck. He won't fall no, short to begin what, with. Honestly, in this society, shit is way too high if you don't have your own house, if you're not owning something. So yeah. here and there, in reality, if that girl really's loving you and if that's your situation in that moment, then yes, she's going to help you out. But that goes with no doubt. That's why it's 50-50 in the love and whatever. That's real shit. But in, no, all the time is absolutely not. Positively not. So are you going to pay for every date and every time y'all eat out? It depends, bro. But, but guys, I, don't think I'm, I don't think I'm obligated to just because I'm a nigga. But you're... I feel you. No, I feel what you're saying. Like, How no. You, like, okay. I, it, it would make me not want to do it just because she feel that way. Now I'm not doing it. To All right. So next question that I have, now that we know everybody's opinion. How do you lay it on her that she's paying this time? Like, what do you do? Like, when y'all are outside? That should have been discussed before we even get there because I don't have to go out to eat. Like, I... I'm not going to die. See, nigga, see gonna... that happened to me once. That happened to me once. We wanted to pay for the gas first. That was the first thing. Paid for the gas. Really didn't even fill up the tank. Truthfully, X me out. X <laughs> me so out. To get because truthfully, so I could have been home. That, X me out. Was this... like, hey, yo, I, let, me, let me put some in your gas. Didn't need the gas money. I would have did that. Trying to do too much. Truthfully. Then, then we get there. We're on our way there. Where we're actually going? there. Where are y'all going? We were going to Uptown Miami. I'm saying to eat though, like just somewhere we don't in know, Miami. Because oh, Uptown, oh, oh, oh. you can find you can find anything. Oh, okay, really, okay. Truthfully, okay. like it's, well, actually not Uptown, Midtown. That's actually what it was, Midtown. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's when it's all these different restaurants, but it's high it, it, anywhere out there at that time. So he asked me to go out, but when we get there, he was like, "So you're gonna pay for the dinner tonight?" That's crazy. <laughs> On the way to the sure. spot, it's crazy. Listen, my boy, you his heart saw, was in like, the right literally, spot. Like, bro. that's literally how I look. Like, his no. heart was in the right spot. G shit. I said, absolutely <laughs> not. Really like, y'all should have saw how fast I was walking. Absolutely nah, he, not. Like, he shouldn't have asked, but that's what I'm saying. It, it was never raining got that to day. That I, was, I got my umbrella. I'm walking faster than him. Then that's when the places out there closed. We end up just eating chicken and wings. Like, you asked me out. Did you buy it? I, I bought my own shit because I never needed you. That's the thing with women. Oh, okay. Like, women, we always have our own money. Yeah, but it's, if you're going to do it, it or not, the that's money. the truth then. Bro, that's really how the world is, like, really built upon, you feel me? Like, I, like I'm true. always going to have my own, but why are you asking me to even do this just because you put gas in my car? I could have filled up my own gas. And you could have yeah. paid for my food because that's more... Oh, so he paid for the gas and wanted you to pay for the food. Yes, that's on not... The first no, date, we don't on the even go date? together. On we don't the first go date? together. Yes, yeah, on the first date, it's crazy. On the first date, it's crazy. No, the first date's probably crazy, yeah, but... First date is that, crazy. That, I felt like a. I felt like he really tried me, and it was over. Like it was over. Like don't even nothing. Nothing was even gonna happen. But don't. don't. That's probably the worst first date ever. Is it? It is. That got to be the worst first date in history. Nah, What's the worst first date you ever been on, bro? I don't go on dates, man. Huh? You don't go on dates? No. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna be 99 with a cat, bro. <laughs>
Nigga go 50 50 and don't go on dates. I'm crying, bro. I'm fucking crying, bro. You going outside. Worst date? Nah, y'all going outside. <laughs> nah, I'm definitely not asking. I'm not asking a joint to pay for the first date, though. One time I I'm held the joint. I'm not talking about dates, bro. I'm talking about a, like one real time, life though, shit. One time I held the joint from 12 to 2 at a restaurant because I knew my check didn't deposit till 2. <laughs> so I just chatted till 2 o'clock because I was dead ass broke. So I just chatted, 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 chatted. Soon as deposit hit, the check came fast as fuck. I'm not going to hold you. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. I ain't have it. Like, I ain't have it, but we chatting. You know but at least, at least you consider it. You and the more, the, the more person. she... The That's more she like. ordered, the longer the conversation got to be because you wildin'. I yeah. came in here with a solid 40 bucks. <laughs> we on 6346, gang. You got to hold that shit longer, gang. You got to hold that I'm, shit longer. Damn. Two o'clock hit? Two o'clock well. hit? It's lit. It's a movie. That's crazy. It's a the movie. first thing your fucking you check you went to is another motherfucker. $62 is light on a payday. <laughs> it's light on a payday, gang. It's light. It. It's real light. It. It's real light. We just no, can't do it again for another two weeks. I think you just... Fuck with people that fuck with you, bro. Like, nobody ain't, anybody that fuck with you for real ain't gonna have you out here motherfucking drowning. But how do I know I fuck with you on the, on the fifth time? I'm talking about once y'all get even, into the... That's not even a good run. No, I'm talking about once y'all living together and all of that kind of oh, shit. Oh, okay. We you on that me? stage. Okay. Yeah, like, nah, it's not happening, bro. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. <laughs> that's just... That's what, if, what if rent was $800? If it was more realistic, I'm probably still not. But you it, still it was, call 400, 400? <laughs> yeah, I probably still wouldn't. But it is, it's a better chance. Definitely not right now. This shit high as fuck. Like, definitely shit, not right now. I'm definitely not, even not right like, now, bro. Kick rocks, right bro. Like, this, this definitely kick off the rip. Bitch. Off the rip is crazy. Either she gonna go 50 50 or get your own shit, and now you're doing 100 zero. But it won't be. You feel me? That yeah. ain't what it's gonna be. But that's when they be like, oh, it feels better. I'd rather do it by myself than go 50 then 50 type We're shit. We're never do doing it, it by ourselves. Well, do we it. sometimes are, but hey, somebody else might be the duck that week. It's it not won't gonna be. be you? Me. What you call them? Duck. Duck. All right. That's what you call them, so I'm using your words. No, that's exactly what But that's what a he good is. man. Good that's, woman. It's a good man. That's a good man. It's a good dyke to man. That's a good dyke to man. I bet he is. Oh, God. No. I understand. I understand. Dating, dating in this generation, though, in this generation in general, is just hard as fuck. Yeah, that, I think. That's, yeah, that's what do you think? I don't even want to get into that. What I think about what? What do you think caused that that change, like, like in, in generations, like from women back then who believe this and women now who believe that? Probably, probably music. I think music played a part. Hundred percent. Women changed one hundred and fifty percent complete after City Girls came out. Yeah, I'm not gonna it ain't no more Lauryn Hill. It's, uh, I'm, it's, I'm you know what I mean. Once they drop with a bag at, bitches never stopped asking for money. I swear to God, on my mama, bro. That's that's really yeah, how I so feel. Probably the music. So that'd just be the culture at that point. Yeah, like, just, it's just the, the music, culture. Like, and women, know. women definitely won't get back for all the shit you did to great grandma. They definitely not having that shit. Like all the shit that your grandma said, your granddad's hoes is not the same as these hoes in this generation. Yeah. Respectfully, I'm not trying to call anybody a hoe or anything. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. It's a fact. That's a Fendi fact. All right, man. Well, that was a good conversation. I love for you to watch you two argue. It's always the best highlight of my days. I'm over it. Because y'all go crazy. Y'all normally go crazy on each other. I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't. I'm, I'm not finna keep. If, if that's not the type of woman he wants, that's not the type of woman he wants. What type of woman? Like, what type the of... The type of woman that... contribute that half because, of what she fucking uses? Because truthfully, what man doesn't want to take the load off of the woman? Like, it's just... It's just... That's just law. I, I can't... Yeah. I didn't make it up. This, this <laughs> is something not, I made I up. I didn't make it up either. <laughs> that's why I'm not abiding by that shit. <laughs> I didn't because, make that shit up either. I didn't make it up. Me either. Nigga Dre don't believe in nothing. He's like, no, I, don't I don't believe, believe in, in that, that butter. He, he doesn't even eat tacos. I can't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> if you okay. don't eat tacos, I cannot trust you. So it is what it is. That's the nigga he eat. He said Zaxby's, Chick-fil-A. Like, that's not the exact same Zaxby's, fucking thing. Chick it's literally the Chicken exact same fucking thing. thing. And, and Tostinos. And Tostinos. That was the only thing that the nigga said that he ate. I'm crying. I can't trust you. All right, so we got. I'm going to wrap it up. We got six minutes left. Since you said, um, damn, you did, one of y'all just said something about... I didn't make it up. I didn't make it up. How do I know I fuck with you? Oh, okay, okay. Real quick. Dating. You said, how do you know I fuck with you after five dates? How many dates does it take for you to know you fuck with somebody? Like, 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 
You never what stopped, it, but you never stopped dating. We're dating all the way through. Get the fuck oh, out of here. We shit, on our 456. Right. <laughs> if you don't know you fuck with me by 450 second date, I'm not fucking with you. Get the you fuck out of here. for a lot. I ain't gonna lie. You asking for a lot. No, but we for still a, like no, realistically. I'm saying, no, I'm saying realistically, you're still dating the person even throughout. That's how you keep the, the shit alive. Okay. But how do you, the question is how many dates? <laughs> <laughs> like, like stop that shit. How many dates does it take for you to be like? Really? I, I might get this nigga a haircut. Like, damn, I might get this nigga, I might line this nigga up a little bit. Like, I might that get this nigga a pair of socks. Like, that took a, but personally for me, it literally took 365 days. <laughs> Come on now. I know, but honestly, I never even, I personally never had to do that. So my situation is different. I can't do haircut. How many days does it take? Yeah, for don't you do something. You fuck with somebody. Let me just count. Uh, Damn. It depends. It depends on how good the date is, but I think. What's a good date when she paid for the bill? Instantly you fuck with her. That's one day. <laughs> she paid for the bill. Bullshit. You fuck with her automatically. You with that bullshit. You like uh, for, you, for you, baby girl? I feel like a, a, it's a, a month a month I'm worth of knowing somebody you know if you fuck I'm with them. Still trying to think. You I'm know like, you fuck with somebody in a month? Date. Okay. I feel okay. Like if we go I'm on a date a week, yeah. How if I many, meet up with you four times, I can tell if I fuck with you or not. Yeah. How many people are you dating at a time? Ooh, I don't, I'm not are you dating none of them. I'm, you ain't what? I'm not dating none of them. Like, okay. You know? How many people are you talking to <laughs> at a time that you're narrowing it down to, I fuck with this girl? Because if you see four bitches in a month, you fuck with all of them? Nah. To a degree. Everybody not, know not that, no. Equally. You're just having one in case that one make you mad. Everybody, like, you know, you in the dating stage, you always, you got the main one. Then you got the one that you like next that could possibly be potential. It's like a domino effect. It's a roster, yeah. Yeah, so like... Some bitches on the bench, some no. bitches on the, you know? I don't know how many dates. I'm still counting. How many dates you got to go on? Uh, I don't know. How no, many I dates like do you have to... to go on before you reciprocate the same energy that he's... Or whoever is giving you? Yeah, like... I'm trying to think. That shit, that shit is so, like... How many days? I never thought from the about job, that. Bro. Like, what the fuck? Bro, you just can't reciprocate because I might just do that for you. The next thing you know, I'm looking at it, looking at Instagram, and you with somebody else on there. I'm be so sick. <laughs> I'm be throwing up. <laughs> throwing up after that's the first date is insane. That's why you put all your eggs in one basket. But you no, be sick. The facts, she should have like, told you how she felt. Before I oh, booked this date over here, oh, like, like I didn't even him. know you felt like that. I didn't even know you felt like that for real. No, nah, but after about a month though. That's how she feeling too. So that's we just I'm gonna date other people in a circle until we get this shit right. That's how. That's honestly what this. What this. That's what dating is though. I'm not gonna hold you. That but I'm, dating, I'm is. In a relationship, dating is like that. made the best man win. And y'all want niggas to pay a hundred percent of shit. The nigga not paying hundred percent is gonna win. But like <laughs> at least just act like. And if you're not gonna you pay hundred percent, you gotta win that way. Like you're gonna pay hundred percent. I already told you. It's an illusion. The key is to make. The key is to make. It's an illusion. So just cap. Yeah, it's to sell, you got to sell a dream. That's the real key. That's what I'm saying. Like, at least, like, oh, nah, baby. Not make her thing. think that you'll pay for well, it. Well, nah, I'm going to just tell you flat out it ain't happening. You don't got to tell her because if she's listening to this episode, she's going to know 150% <laughs> <laughs> that you ain't that. going for that shit. I'm telling you right now, gang. She's going to know. Nah, she's going to know. Nigga, I, don't, I think niggas flagging, though. I don't think niggas paying 100% of shit like that, bro. No, so why? you really think that a girl should give you the goods for free? Y'all no. paying 100%? Anyone I'm just wondering. Like, do I think what, bro? You be asking like, some crazy shit. What do I think? Like, what? That's what I'm thinking. Like, if a girl, if like, if you go 50 50 with a girl, you still expect her to go like crazy in all other aspects for you. You feel me? She tired, boss. And when yeah. I tell you she's so tired. Yeah. yeah. When I tell you she's tired. I'm not, I'm not tired. Like, she's what the literally, fuck? I'm tired she's, too. she's super tired. When I tell you she's literally croaked over by the. Uh-huh. Roll out. <laughs> what am I, my nigga? Like, what am Get I? Get the casket, because she's almost there. Literally. No, I'm so crying. what am I? She, uh, I ain't you, tired. You're tired, too, but, but that's why it, she's supposed to be your piece, and she's easing it when you come home. More than likely, it's some food to be made. Like, girls really do that. If I just... Well, I can make my own fucking food. If it's like, what? Well, your what food is easy. About? All I got to do is put the Tostinos in, <laughs> and I'm going to put it out, and I'm going to put it on the plate, and I'm going to cut Niggas, it in full, and it's going to be the best thing ever. Like, that's all you need for him. Facts. That's all you need for him. You put two Tostinos, you might just... In exchange for fucking chicken Alfredo <laughs> and some fucking... Chicken Alfredo. Bitches love... Pussy, bro. Bitches love good chicken Alfredo. I'm not going like, to hold you. All it's right. not a fair exchange. Not this bitch. 
<laughs> Yo, y'all niggas got me crying. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all for staying tuned uh, for this episode. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to let the artists perform. Uh, this is our second live event. If y'all fuck with us, make sure y'all come up close and y'all scan this. Thank you, Miss PR, for coming to the front of the stage. You never, ever come to the front of the camera. Yeah, so yeah. shout out to you. Shout out to you. Uh, of course, Dre, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another episode in the books, 31. And uh, make sure y'all stay tuned yeah. for all the episodes to come because we, we ain't stopping no time soon. Thank y'all. And y'all have a great, great, great. Friday Night Live, live at the Union Hall in Lakeland, Florida. You feel what I'm saying? Sorry for what podcast. 31 episodes deep, you feel me? We started recording on the iPhone. Now we got a motherfucking whole cameraman in the back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Real Shooters doing a live show, our second live show at that. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure everybody that's watching, y'all stay tuned. We got more shit to come. This shit's just going to keep going up and up and up and up and up. Make sure y'all follow us on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? My boy Dre Leadham yeah, finally put us in a bio. We in here. We in here. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we finally, here, you know what I'm saying? I finally put us in his bio. Yeah, so that's how you know. <laughs> nah, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all for all the continuous support. And make sure y'all tune into this episode, bro. I think y'all gonna enjoy it. You feel what I'm saying? Real shit, real facts, and real vibes. Let's get it.